nobody is ever going to have the knowledge of 10 or 20 or 100 different product areas or industries, right? So if you are interested in working on messaging repetitively, that's not what you have to rely on. You have to rely on structures and methodologies into which people that are expert in a particular industry or product can pour that expertise. So while initially I was working on a couple of products for which I was responsible, increasingly over time, what happened is I got asked to help people who were very expert in their particular industry or product, but hadn't necessarily spent their whole career as product marketers. They were there more for their industry expertise to help them sharpen what they knew into a short, sharp message so that they could then gain permission from the customer to have the longer conversation and yeah. show that expertise that they had. So it must have been a growth moment on multiple levels, right? A growth moment for you in empowering others to understand the craft of sharpening storytelling, but also for your colleagues that you were working with and how they were kind of going through the process of finding their voice and recognizing that there's a lot of detail that has been top of mind for them that maybe is bringing a lot of noise to the story that they're trying to tell. And that at some point yes. they need to let go of some of that noise to drive more traction with customers and prospects. And it is so hard if you are an expert in your field to do that. It's one of the reasons that people choose to have a collaborator who might not be expert in their field, but is expert in sorting out what is important for the customer to know at each point in the sales cycle and helping cut it out to that. 